Good morning. Welcome once again to Comprehensive Personal Care Formulation Study Program. This is Lee Strachan once again, who's going to give you a really good um, product to, um, to learn with. Today we will be talking about Module 13 for those who have um, participated in my Comprehensive uh, Personal Care Training Program. So these are all for you, of course. Well, on module 13, we will be talking about hair care formula preparation. So we're still, this is actually a product, which is um, actually a product as a guide. So I have here, if you can see from here, I have here the actual product that I really would like to um, reverse formulate because um, Whenever I'm in Australia, this is the only product, this is the only product that will work for my daughter, Ellie. And um, of course, uh, sometimes I don't have stocks of what I have for her. So I would usually create something that would be really, really similar to this, having all the properties that my daughter needs uh, for her hair and scalp condition. So, uh, before we go any further, I'd like to first um, prepare our face bees because we will need to warm all our face bees here. So again, we're doing module 13 hair care formula preparation, which we have the product as a guide to um, start learning on how to create our own shampoo formula. So um, I've got here the product that we would like to uh, create and this is uh, basically a, uh, a purifying or what we call clarifying shampoo. So um, let me just prepare all the uh, face bees. We'll combine all our face bees in virgins. I've got all the face A's in here. Well, um, let me just talk about it while I'm um, wearing my gloves. So I've got all the face A's here, face B's, face C's, and the face D's. I have my warmer already um, ready so that we can warm. So what we have to do is to warm. We will pre-warm our face B's, okay? Combine them all together. So, um, yeah, so we're going to combine all our face bees. I am not going to explain um, in detail, but I just would like you to see what I'm doing um, so that you will have an idea on how to create this yourself. So uh, again, I'm just combining all our face bee ingredients in the formula. Of course, for those who have joined uh, personal care formula, the complete program you will have access to the formulary of this product so I've got um, all the uh, actually all the surfactant base um, in the formula and because we have uh, our um, noodle form here of the surfactant surfactant of course um, we require to warm them so that it will um, dissolve so we'll set this aside for now and then we'll proceed with, okay, we'll set this aside and we'll proceed with phase A. So with phase A, um, composed of these ingredients are all our uh, so utilizers and also the oils in the formula, the anti uh, antioxidants as well, the essential oils or the fragrance or parfum um, in the formula. So I've got all my um, face B's in here. All you have to do is to combine all your face A's, I, I meant. So all the face B's are here, so we're combining all our face A ingredients, so utilizers and our, it's pretty tight because I've got a pretty small container for all the ingredients. Yeah, so combine everything. So we've got 
uh, combination blends of essential oils here to cater for um, purifying and clarifying uh, the scalp and the hair. Um, so our essential oil here has a really good beneficial properties to control uh, damage um, scalp and also to control uh, sebum and um, because my daughter has, as I, I've been saying this for quite some time, that she's got seborrheic dermatitis and um, it's pretty hard to create a formula for her because I, I, I really need to create a new formula every three months um, really because of her condition. So we just need to uh, make sure that we have combined all our phase B ingredients there. And then we'll set this aside. Okay. Mm, wow. So these are come again, these are combinations of essential oils that will cater to um, sebum control. Okay, because she's got pretty pretty oily scalp. All right, let me just put this aside for now. Okay, I've also got here all our face C's, okay? This should be added later while we're waiting for the uh, product to dissolve. So let me just help dissolve those um, noodles or needles. Uh, by steering slowly so you don't want to bubble up so just steer slowly and gently okay so we're still here we basically need to um, wait for the solution to dissolve fully before we could add for once it's fully dissolved, what you have to do is turn off the heat, the warmer, and then continue with allow the pro allow the solution to um, cool down for a little bit, and then we could start adding our facey ingredients and facey ingredients all um, um, all uh, at one time, one at a time. So. We've got our face A's in here. We will not add it till the solution has already dissolved, fully dissolved. So our solution has um, is almost dissolved. I'm gonna go ahead and um, add some of our facey ingredients that are not heat sensitive. It's basically on 50 degrees Celsius when I checked it. Yeah, it's actually 55, so I'm just going to add in polyquaternium, okay, so we're using polyquaternium here. I'm going to add this to help uh, dissolving the ingredients well. some of um, the ingredients it's pretty thick so you want to make sure you uh, scrape everything okay and blend it
So we have the pretty sensitive ingredients on face these anyway. So uh, we'll try and uh, add in all the rest of the faces one by one and while stirring. If you will notice, okay, let me just scrape all this and then we'll continue with the blending. If you will notice, we've got it's pretty bubbly. It, we've, we've got a lot of bubbles in, so uh, we will have to check the results of this formula, the results of this solution, the next day. It'll uh, clear up; those bubbles will clear up, and it'll give you a pretty clear so, um, shampoo. Okay, clear and thick shampoo. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and add in some of the other ingredients. We'll try to blend them in because I've got a pretty small amount here. I'll go ahead and temper it with our um, distillate. These are part of the, these are a portion of the water. So I use, I used um, organic um, distillates for this purpose. So let's add this one. And add the rest, combine the rest of the distillate to the solution or to phase B. So we're now, we, we now have phase B and phase C together. Try and, um, just try and mix them slowly and gently so as not to add uh, with the bubbles that is already there. Okay. Steering them slowly. And then we add uh, another ingredient on face C's. Just dry it in. Got a pretty thick ingredient there at the bottom, and I want to make sure it's fully dissolved. Okay, let's do this slowly and let's add in the other ingredients. So I'm gonna, you, you're, you're, you're going to have the uh, complete ingredient list of course in the formula that I provided uh, together with this package, to, together with module 13. And then you also have another formulary of a different type of um, different type of shampoo so basically you will have two formularies for this module oops I'm trying to scrape all the ingredients everything because they're pretty um, beneficial ingredients on face C's so you want to make sure that you scraped everything and blended them together Okay. Still a bit more. Okay. So, yeah, and then let's try and steer gently to mix them and blend them properly. So again, you'll see me. Uh, you will have a video of um, of the. You'll have a video of our uh, PDF file as well uh, for you to, you know, be able to understand the lecture uh, fully. I'll be explaining to you uh, some of the the ingredients, how I uh, uh, come up with those ingredients. Um, and I'll be explaining to you the percentage that I used in that formula uh, to be able to uh, reverse formulate this particular shampoo, uh, purifying and clarifying shampoo that is really good for those who have very greasy scalp, um, 
flaky and um, uh, well some people would say it's a dandruff but it's not actually that case because um, because of the condition of the scalp and the hair um, and because it's pretty 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 greasy um, the uh, uh, the it, it looks like a dandruff yes but it's somehow like a, um, a like a condition of the scalp which is called seborrheic dermatitis so yeah we've got all faces in here we now have all our face D's so as you can see it's uh, it's pretty bubbly so again it, we will have to wait for uh, everything to, to settle down till the next day you'll have a, a clear consistency here and a pretty thick consistency I can't show you the, out, the outcome of it because I already gave it to my daughter and she's using it uh, for quite like two weeks now because I ran out of her formula so I resorted to uh, making this and share them to you in case uh, you would like a special formula with regards to shampoo. So we'll go ahead and add in our uh, actives. Okay, these are actives that we will be using for this um, shampoo, purifying shampoo. So those. Um, Actives are the ones that's going to give the beneficial properties. Uh, it's a pretty high amount. It's about like about um, three percent. And then I've got um, some of some of the um, actives as well. Which is um, soak. solid so we're fine we don't have any more of those um, needles and then we'll add in another ingredient another active one face D more ingredients to go just add this so you you you're not seeing me adding the face a still still here we will add this at the uh, very last okay after these two more ingredients we will add our face a's Okay, let's continue. I'm adding the uh, other ingredients now. This is, uh, we still have four or uh, two more ingredients on phase D. at that. Alright, so let's now add in our
thickener. So the temperature is still a little bit high, about uh, 40, 45 degrees Celsius. So um, once it's uh, the the temperature cools down to normal room temperature, which will be a little bit later today, um, and and then uh, the next day you'll see this clearing up. Uh, with those bubbles already um, gone so and thick pretty thick and then let's try and check the uh, okay let me just add in our last the phase A let's add in our phase A so our phase A contains our so utilizers um, a non-ionic emulsifier as well and our essential oil blends to cater for very oily, very greasy scalp, hair and scalp. So we get the beneficial properties from these blends of powerful essential oils. scrape them all because they're really really nice blends so when I asked my daughter about the formula if she likes the shampoo that I did for her which is from Akin she said it's very bubbly and it serves its purpose very bubbly that's what she said and yeah it's a it serves the purpose she doesn't have um, more too much of the flakiness of the scalp just got a little bit more, but it's controlling it. The uh, the greasiness of the hair is gone, which is one thing. All right. So um, and then for the last part, I've got here our um, I've actually got here the citric acid for the um, you know for to lower the uh, pH uh, to a really um, good pH, pH of 5, so um, so this has been perfected, meaning I've already, um, I have already uh, perfected the percentage that I would use in this formula to get the perfect pH that I need, so all I have to do is just to go ahead and go ahead and add it in now and this will yield a pretty pretty soft uh, shampoo that will give you a soft hair and during your shampooing um, it's not something that will you know it's like you're fighting with it so this will give you a soft touch you know very very good ph it's balanced and nicely thickened and clear so um, but depending on the type of essential oils that you will use it might yield a really a little bit cloudy consistency depending on the on what actives you will be using as well will affect the clarity and the consistency of your product but this is is this particular product has got a pH of 4.8 which is really really perfect for this product so thank you so much as I said you'll uh, you'll find out the, uh, the thickness the clarity and the consistency of your product you'll have to um, review it the next day before you can see the actual uh, product that you have made thank you so much for watching you have a good weekend guys and I'll see you on Module 14. Bye!